Robert, let's talk about some of the things that have been in the news lately. Um, one just a couple of weeks ago uh, is apple juice. Mm -hmm. uh, safe to drink or not safe, uh, you know, sugar is one thing, but sure. we heard about arsenic now. I just um, covered this on my show the other day. Yeah. It's good that you're asking me. Yep. This, you know, Dr. Oz, right, the, mm -hmm. the guy that, that yep. uh, you know, I give him his props. I, you know, I like what he does. He can't go too far or else they take him off the air. I recognize that, too. <laughs> uh, so there's always this pull. For me and media, I, I could never uh, compromise on my principles, so I couldn't do what he does to not you know, to have to hold back on this. Now, mm -hmm. I, I like that he is doing a lot of good things. It's helping people, too. There's a bridge that's being made. With the apple juice scenario, the argument is, well, is it organic arsenic or inorganic arsenic? And then they're saying one is safe, one is not. But the reality is now they're importing apple juice from China. We don't know what the heck is going in. And the apple juice, even that's domestic, if it is sprayed, if it is not organic, will contain some levels of, of more toxic components, including arsenic. Remember, mm. back in the early, early part of the 20th century after World War II, where they converted the chemical munitions, petrochemicals, from uh, they were basically bomb-making stuff yeah. into fertilizers. It altered the plants, and it caused them to be sick. And then they had to add po uh, pesticides. Now, some, some of what they used were copper arsenate. They used an arsenic-based pesticide. Okay. I don't know that they're still using it, but they do export these things that come back to America in the forms of fruit or fruit juices. Mm. Now, for me as a homeopath, I would immediately, if anybody is still consuming this, and it, albeit it's not going to kill people tomorrow, but accumulation of arsenic over time can be very mm. detrimental to health, I would utilize homeopathic arsenic amalgam. That's the homeopathic ar arsenic. And there's already been many tests over the years to show excretion increases by utilizing the stimulation of a homeopathic form of arsenic via the urine that what, what comes mm -hmm. out and those that aren't taking it. So the, it's not like you're, you know, you're toast. I had some apple juice. I'm done for. You yeah. have solutions. You can increase the selenium levels in your body as well, but increase liver, kidney function. You can excrete the arsenic. But if you're not drinking organic apple juice, and preferably, this is controversial, unpasteurized, because pasteurization mm -hmm. alters the nutrient content or the, the availability sure. of it. This is the controversy over raw milk as well. But you recognize that if they're producing apple juice in a factory far afield from you and they ship it to you, by the time it gets to you, it might have some untoward microbial growth. That's why they do pasteurization. Mm -hmm. in that. So ideally, you would make your own apple juice from apples that you've, you know, either you've grown or you know the source and you've cleaned them however you need to and you juice them at home. But we live in a country and a culture now that, that prides itself on the ability to get anything, anytime, anywhere that right. will last forever. And we're going to have to learn differently. If we rely upon things imported for China, we're asking for trouble. But if you've consumed it, there is a way out. And that's, you know, I'm glad you asked because I don't want people to panic about it. Sure. But consider the source, consider the quality, and it is all about the quality. Yes, the sugar is another issue as well we can get into. Mm -hmm. Well, juices as a whole are kind of a, uh, a big topic because everybody thinks, oh, if it's juice, it must be natural, it must be good sure, for me. Sure. But you really have to look pretty hard in order to find one that is truly healthy, don't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, so many of these, in fact, may come with preservatives, but even if they are not preserved and they are pasteurized, as I said, it's, go it's going to alter it to some degree. And, of course, the simple sugars and fruit sugars in concentrated mm -hmm. forms can be harmful to people that are already consuming far too much refined sugar, mm -hmm. which, by the way, depletes what? What is happening when you refine sugar? You remove the minerals, the minerals that are naturally occurring from the plants that grow the whole food, the whole fruit, mm -hmm. or even the sugar cane or the sugar beet. The sugar cane was the highest of all the mineral content you can measure of foods, perhaps the highest content it had of chromium of any food mm -hmm. on the planet. Why is that? Isn't that interesting that there would be so much chromium and sugar? Right? And sugar mm, beet, yeah. sugar cane. Well, you understand that without the chromium molecule, you can't transport sugar into and out of the cells, convert that fat that stores, is stored as, you know, to, to re release it, and vice versa if the sugar is coming in to be able to, you know, carry it, if you will. It's not all about insulin, it's about the, the glucose tolerance factor, chromium molecule. Mm. But also, the U.S. government holds patent on a form of chromium that became famous in the 1990s called chromium picolinate. But well, people don't realize that's sort of a synthesized form of chromium where you bind the chromium molecule to a picolinic acid, which is a metabolic waste product, cellular poop, <laughs> for, for lack of a better way. And they say, oh, this is great. Very little benefit out of that, a little bit. But uh -huh. if you find forms of chromium that are truly grown in a food form, and you ingest it about 100 micrograms three times a day, certainly you can reverse hypoglycemia, which is nothing, but type 2 diabetes can be reversed readily. And people would say, well, that's outrageous. How can you say that? Well, 
Uh, why is it outrageous? It's only outrageous to the companies that make billions and billions of dollars off of people with diabetes. You know, the money is in the medicine, not the cure. Mm -hmm. And the cure is in nature. The cure is in supplements. The cure is in nutrients. And so another aspect to this issue of, you know, sugar metabolism is a humble trace element that is overlooked and refined right out of the foods that need the most of it. Mm -hmm.